Hello everybody, I have just arrived in the Holiday Inn in Shanghai Hong Kwa Hotel, which is an airport hotel. Not that crazy about the location, it's far from downtown. Um, they do seem to have a few shops, but not a lot. Anyway, um, as you walk in the door, this is the front door here. I just opened up this closet. This is where the safe is, and they have a scale at the bottom. They have slippers, some sort of brush. This is the closet. Another hotel with an iron and ironing board. Many of the hotels they put us in. And this trip did not have iron and ironing board, so I'm glad to see that. There are uh, two robes in the closet. As we turn around here, this is the uh, bathroom. You have a stand-up shower. It looks like it might be wheelchair accessible, even though there's a slight lift. It's not like a complete stair. It's like a threshold between the actual shower and the floor. Much like the um, other last two hotels we stayed in. And as typical, those are the amenities. This is the sink. And of course, you have the toilet right behind here. When you're in Asia, most most Asian hotels, from what I can see for right now, have an American toilet, particularly the one that our tour company um, that we that we used uses. But from my understanding, if you were to do a trip on your own to Asia, you might want to always ask. Do they have an American toilet or do they have a Chinese toilet, which is a hole in the ground? Okay, as you can see here, you have the mini fridge, you have the coffee maker, ice maker, and they give you two complimentary uh, water bottles. Filled with water, of course. Let's see. Can't. Well, I see that there are some utensils here. Oh, there we go. So they give you two glass, a can opener, and a lot of different teas, which I like. And then I guess this is the hair dryer. Okay, excuse the nails, guys. Okay. Like most hotels, you get a flat screen TV. And I think this is just extra drawers down here. This is the desk over here. Most of the hotels we stayed in had a day bed. This is a little couch. And then this is definitely a king size bed because even if I were to turn my camera the other way, which I did before, before making the video, the whole bed does not fit in the camera. It might also, if it's not a king size, it might be a California king size. Oh, wait a minute. Unless this is two twins pushed up together. Maybe that's what it is. Okay, let's check out the view. So, I believe, so hopefully you guys can see, that is the other side of the hotel that we're looking at the uh, cafeteria. You can hear the airplane going above. We have to leave out tomorrow, so 
And then many of the people that I'm with in the group, they have a morning flight. So actually staying by the airport is is good for them. It's just that I wanted to go and see like Shanghai Disney and um, wanted to walk around downtown, but I'm too far away to do that. I'm trying to see. All right, it looks like I'm looking at a gym and a swimming pool over in the far distance. It's also part of the hotel. The way the hotel is arranged is that there are several different buildings. If I'm not mistaken, there are four different buildings within the hotel. And below, even though it's dark, it's night, you may see that there is a garden. Uh, view again we just arrived so that's why it's kind of dark had a three hour drive and then in the distance is like the rest of the town houses or whatever right I'm in Shanghai China all right I gotta get myself settled I gotta wait for the rest of my luggage so I will be checking with you guys later. Bye.